for a real bonus. We got the big man here, Hanato. He's just gonna play with the ball and show you some of the funky stuff he comes up with. Ready to go, baby? Yes, sir. Santana, and I'm riding first. All right, we're coming to you from the Institute of Human Performance, headquarters of Intercombat. What do we got for them today, baby? Right now we have uh, 
MMA circuit training, mixed martial arts. Right now, we're going to go over some of the same exercises and movements that some of the big dogs use down here in Boca Raton to add this to human performance. What we're going to do is we're going to show you live circuit training with two of the hottest MMA fighters in the world today. Don't you know it? Come on in, guys. These are our friends, number one, and some of the best yeah. MMA fighters in the world. This is uh, Anato Tagarish and Marcus Aurelio. Maximus. All right. Right, right now, Marcus is one of the hottest fighters in Japan in Pride, and Hanato Tigers uh, personally trained me for the Abu Dhabi Submission Wrestling World Championships. And they're going to go over some of the, like I said, the same movements that we use down here to show you exactly how we prepare our athletes for mixed martial arts. You got it. We've been working with these gentlemen for almost four years now. We first met them when uh, American Top Team was a little club running out of 800 square feet. Now they have a monster 32,000 square foot facility down here in Pompano Beach, Fort Lauderdale area. And uh, that's where these two guys train full time. They've been kind enough to come over and show us, show you also, some of the training that they did with us about four years ago. As you know, this is mixed martial arts. So some of the foundational practices of mixed martial arts are Taekwondo, Judo, Karate, Wrestling, Brazilian, Jiu Jitsu, Sambo. And what we've done is we take a conglomeration of all these arts and techniques and put them into our mixed martial arts video to make it rich and technically sound for the mixed martial arts practitioner. How's yeah, that, Juan? Absolutely. That's what you're going to be seeing. These two guys are going to be demonstrating the exercises, and then we're going to go live to see them actually get it done. You ready, Marcus? You ready? Yes. All righty. Yes. Let's get to work. Before we start our circuit, we always warm up. We warm up the body's core musculature by using specific protocols. One of the protocols that we like to use is called the Fabulous Five. The Fabulous Five are a series of five exercises. They're push-ups, hypers, reverse hypers, knee tucks, and skiers. Let me show you exactly how we do them here and in the combat. First, we start off with five push-ups. Then we go from five push-ups to five hypers. Then from the hypers, we go to the reverse hypers. This really fires up the back, the hamstrings, the glutes. Let me go to the knee tucks. We all know how important the abs are in mixed martial arts and jujitsu and judo. And then the key, the key are the hip movements. We use, we use the stability bar skiers for our hip movements. And we do five to each side. And after we warm up, we're ready to go. All right, now I'm gonna give you a little taste of the band warm up that we've used successfully in the past. This is the JC Sports Band. Four feet attached to anything, a door, a piece of equipment, and we can warm up the pulling muscles here. We like high counts, high. You can stagger. Okay. Now, get ready for some punching. And here, you see my foot position. I'm already warming up that calf from the rear. <sighs> Throw about 20 with each hand. You can get your stretching here. Stretching there, the entire front. Hip flexors, abdominals, chest. So you have your strength, range of motion, warm up the back, of course hips and hamstrings are all also getting it here, throw in some pulls, stagger the stance, now you're dominant on that front leg, really warming up the hamstring, glutes, we like 20, 20 is our favorite number when it comes to warm ups. You can see that it's deceleration here. Then, ha, double underhooks. Little snap downs. Get that crunching. 
Little more range of motion here. External rotation. You want to warm up the hips, rotate and pivot the legs. Open, 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 whoo, open. That entire warm up should take you anywhere between two and three minutes. Everything, 20 reps per side. Two or three should give you about six minutes of an excellent dynamic warm up. You can see I'm breathing, starting to sweat a little bit. That's the way we get ready. All right, here we go. We're starting the first circuit. The first MMA circuit, we're gonna do the fighting MMA matrix. Four stations, a push, a pull, a shoot, and a shoot and punch. Roddy's gonna demonstrate all the exercises. We're starting with the 3D punching. Show him what it is, baby. Everything is six, three to each side. Now he's gonna punch across, up against the cage, boom, down. All right, so there's your first stage of the MMA uh, circuit. All right, now, second stage is a pummeling stage. Here we go, three on each side, six down the middle, six emphasizing a little bit more cross orientation here, and big, huge rotations on that third. Yeah, on that third stage there. So now we've gone through two stages, punching, pummeling. Now we're going to go through a shooting stage. Boom. Three on each side, six to the front. And then he's going to go three to the side. Grab that leg, pick it up. Grab that leg, pick it up. All right. And now he's going to rotate. This is great for opening up the hips. Sometimes you're caught in those uh, compromising positions. This gets you ready for it. Big hip flexibility. Pick up and go. All right. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Now we've gone through three stages. You're punching, you're pummeling, and you're shooting. Now we're going to go to a shoot, finishing with two punches. Ready? Boom! Punch, punch. Bam! Pump, punch. There we go. We're doing six total, three to each side to the front. He's gonna follow the same thing to the sides and then the rotational reaching lunges with punching. This is a shot with a punch. These are tough, very tough. All right, there you have your MMA matrix. All right, that's how we kick off this uh, circuit. Your heart rate should be up to about anywhere between 150 and 180 when you finish this, and then we go on to the next exercise. Following the MMA matrix, now we're gonna do some groundwork, getting ready for that guard, and boom, we call these ball exchanges. All right, your feet don't touch the ground, hands don't touch the ground, you open up, bring it, put it between your knees, go back. Great for the core. Remember, your heart rate's already at 180. This will keep it above 180. It's burning. All right. All right, the third station is oversized grip pull-ups. Okay, we're gonna try to get 10, but that's how you get it down, just like that. Perfect. We custom made these. We try to make them between two and two and a half inches in diameter. How does that feel, bro? Yeah. Grip, grip. Grip. Good job. All right. The fourth station is going to be a push up with a contralateral toe touch. And we want to get dynamic with that. Show them a couple, baby. Bam! See? Excellent for groundwork, sit outs, kicking, enormous core work. Fantastic. That's what we're looking for. All right. For the next station, is going to be resisted knees. We're just using the super bands, as you can see. Just step right on in, okay? You're going to need a partner. Bam, 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 boom, boom, boom. Done. Resist his knees. Lots of core, MMA style. I have some fire right now. <laughs> All right, 
We're finishing the circuit with good old fashioned pickups. This is unadulterated strength work when you're tired. That's why we call it power endurance. Show him, baby. Boom. Notice that he's, he finishes, ah, he finishes the, the pickup. Ah, all right. Notice that he finished the pickup on each rep, okay? So now we're gonna show you how this thing looks like live and in living color. Get ready, here comes the pain. All right, we have Hinato here that's gonna demonstrate how a pro does this. I'll be keeping time. He's gonna go nonstop through all of these exercises with the appropriate rep range. Are you ready? Are you ready? You ready to watch? Hinato, you ready to do? All right, baby. Here we go, and hit it. MMA Matrix, 3D punching. <laughs> 3D pummel. Shots. Right now the legs are working, the arms are working, the heart rate is, heart rate is elevating. The grease is getting hot. Looking good, Hinata, looking good. As you can see, he's flexing his back, he's flexing the hips. Fantastic core training here. Your back will not get tired. Boom, boom, punch. Ah, boom, boom, punch. Let's get some speed, let's get some speed. Let's get some speed, Hanato. Some speed, must hop it though. Must hop it though. Boom. Good. That's two. That's three. That's four. That's five. Med ball exchanges. All right. He's finishing this in very fast time. He's at 120 right now. And come on, baby. Now he's doing his guard work. Notice that his head, his arms, and his legs never touch the ground for 20 reps. We are using a ball that is approximately 5 to 7% of his body weight. Right now, his core is toasted right now. Beautiful. Now we're going to the pull-ups. He's going for 10. We custom made these. You can use big, thick PVC if you want. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. All right. Now, actually, Hinata was the one who showed us these push-ups, which we show at all our seminars. He's a monster. He's going 20 total, 10 to each side. Look at him go. This guy is a machine. Always has been. The four years that I've known him, he's never, ever been out of shape. After his 20. All right. He is coming in for his resisted bands. Set up, Marcus is gonna be the target. Boom! And he's gonna go 20 there. Come on, Bobby! 20, baby! I can't believe the time he's gonna turn in. Pick him up, all the way up. That is an amazing 325. Most, most of our fighters are finishing in 430 to five minutes. Hanato came in cold and finished in 325. And Marcus Miranda is up next. That's the machine. We're gonna take a little break and we're gonna come at you with the second circuit. Great job, man.
All right, we're back. We're back for the second circuit of the MMA circuit training DVD. You ready to go here? Yes, sir. We got an exciting second circuit for you, eight major stations. We're gonna start off with a squat thrust and pass station. Then we're gonna go to the rotational slams, great for the core. Then we're gonna hit a nice punching, two punching stations actually from different positions. Then we're going to go to low kicks. We're gonna finish with uh, recline pulls, stability ball hypers, and swinging knees. That's one that they haven't seen in a little bit, right? That's one that they've never seen. That's, that's, a, that's a specialty that, item. That's a specialty only, item. You can only get here at the Institute of Human Performance. All right, now, Radi is gonna show you all of the exercises. We're gonna go quickly through them. We start with a squat and a push. Boom. We're using, again, approximately 5% of body weight with the ball. Great. You're going to go with 20 of those. That's enough, baby. All right, you're retired now. Our next exercise is the rotational lunge. OK? Notice that he is rotating to the side he's lunging. This really throws his body and his hips into excellent rotation, providing great strength and flexibility. All right? Then once you're done with your 20 rotational lunges, you go to 20 alternating Split, uh, split jumps, huh. and this will really start firing up your metabolic engine, and of course your legs will be fried by the time this happens. All right, the last exercise is a sprawl with an immediate chest pass. He is getting really explosive. This is phenomenal for getting away from low shots and immediately providing an offensive movement. Great job. All right, for the second station, we've got rotational slams. Need I say more? Huge for core rotation and power. Now we come to a striking station here, standing 20 punches, and then he's gonna drop right into the mound. Boom, and finish off 20 from the mound. Fantastic. All right, so we got 40 total punches, 20 from a standing position, and 20 from the mound. I'm a, two, I'm a 2004 Olympian, but Juan Carlos Santana says I to kick like a girl, so I have to let him demonstrate the low kick, please. But we can't put that on tape, so that's one. He, he's kicking well. Nice, powerful low kicks. He's almost changing up my intestines. He's doing a good job here. Good job, Juan. Other side, here we go. Other side, here we go. Here we go, other side. Where do you want me to be? I want you to be right where you need to be. Here we go. Eso. Eso. Here we go. Good. Be explosive. Boom, and that's how we get it down at, towards the end of the circuit so we can still be explosive. All right, the next exercise, recline, rope pulls. When you're in the guard and you need to pull that head down, maybe the last 30 seconds, this is the way you get saved and not get pummeled on. Bring that head down and hold that guy in. That's what these recline rope pulls are for. All right, now we come to the, what we call stability ball hypers. This is fantastic for when you put in the legs and you got to throw your hips into the guy. Great stuff. And we're going to go throw, throw 20 of those in there. Coming down the pike, finishing up the circuit. He's going to hang almost with an over, over uh, an under grip. Cross knees to cross elbows. Here we go. Boom. You know what that's about. Guy gets tired. You grab out into his head and you throw them knees in. Boom. Done. All right. We're going to throw. 20 of those at the very end. That is gonna be an unbelievable, nasty circuit. It's gonna be tighter than pantyhose, two sizes small. Now, guess who we have coming to do this circuit live? Come on in, baby. Marcus, Marcus Aurelius. Maximus Aurelius. Not just Marcus, MMA, Marcus Maximus Aurelius. You ready to get uh, spiritual on us here, man? Because this is going to take you beyond, beyond the physical. I know it's going to be tough. I'm ready. All righty. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Roddy, are you ready, man? Well, Marcus, are you ready? All right. Here we go. Hit the time. Squat with a push. Let's go. Bam. Notice that he's getting nice, deep position in there. He's gonna go for 20, and then he's gonna go into his rotational lunges. You can see that it's that jujitsu MMA stuff. This ain't bodybuilding lunges. This is, this is functional stuff. Good. 
And then he's going to go right into his rotational jumps. Deep, deep, deep. There we go. There you go. That's what we want. Uh -huh. All right, turn around, sprawl to ball. Yeah, no, go, go, baby, go on. Boom. That's two, he's going for 10. Sprawling and hitting. Right now, his heart rate is probably at about 160, 170. Come on. Now he's got standing rotational slams. Here we go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Here we go. He's got standing punches. Twenty. Now he's bounding. 20. Come on, baby. Punch, punch, hard. Here we go. All right. Now we got low kicks, baby. Come on. Bam. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. The other side. One, two, three, four, five, six. Come on, baby. Eight, nine, ten. Recline pulls. Need 15 of them. This is for when he's playing from the guard and he wants to neutralize his opponent the last 30 seconds of the match. He's pulling, pulling, pulling. Come on, baby. 15, we need 15. 15. All right, we're standing, baby. Now he's gonna put in the legs and throw the hips into the guy to break him down. Boom. Woo! His heart rate right now is between 180 and 200. Right into the hips, right into the ball. All right, Marcus, we're down the stretch. Flying knees, baby. Boom, 20 of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You gotta get it through. Come on, 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! Oh. How much time, baby? How do you feel? Three. Good. <laughs> 350. 350. All right? Like lightning. Eight stations, hundreds of reps in under four minutes. That's why he is max a mess. How do you feel? Good. <laughs> <laughs>so, man, what do you think of that awesome display of just guts and attitude? One word. What? Impressive. That's it. That's why we love working with Hinato and Marcus. These guys come to play, baby. Marcus was impressive. I was, uh, I was really expecting him to break four minutes, and he did break four minutes. He did. And that's he why did. he's one of the best in the world at what he does. That's absolutely right. Hey, we want to introduce you to a friend of ours, been our, our uh, athlete. He's fought for the World Shooto Championship. He's been here helping us just to, to make this product what it needs to be and be a technical advisor on the product. Dustin Clean Dennis. I, I call him the anaconda for the triangle. That, that's the way he plays, man, like a snake. Welcome, man, and thank you very much for your help. Thank your your you expertise that, is just unbelievable, and we Excellent. appreciate that. So what is the best part of uh, training at IHP and into combat here that you like? Uh, keep it short and sweet. IHP number one. That's it. We don't mess around with these two-hour workouts. Dustin comes in. He gets it done in under 55 minutes with us. As you know, he fought for the World Shooto Championship last year and darn near ripped the guy's head off with a two and a half minute guillotine. How that guy survived, I have no clue, but this guy here, world caliber fighter, world caliber friend. IHP number one.
There it is. Simply stated, simply put. All righty. Now he's going to show you some of his favorite training techniques that he learned here at the, the Institute of Human Performance and at Into Combat in a little bit, so stay tuned. All right, right now we have Marcus Aurelius. We're going to give this Kaiser a run for its money. The Kaiser measures weight used for a movement and the power output that you develop using that weight. We're going to put approximately 10 to 15% of his body weight here. Right now he's got 18 pounds, and we're going to measure the power behind that right hand of Marcus's, known to have uh, leveled a few in the ring, right, my man? Yeah. All right, you're gonna show these people how it gets down? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I'm estimating about uh, 900 watts. I think he's gonna beat that at some point. Ready? Yeah. And show him. Boom, 1,009. 1,009 watts of power in that right hand. Here we go. 919. 965, one more, baby and 946. Okay, peak well over a thousand with an average of about 940 watts in that right hand in a punch. This is the kind of equipment we use here at IHP. This is the kind of training these guys do and this is how we measure if the training is paying off big time.